What's up, Dookie Boy? This is Dookie Boy Deviler, the Dookie Boy Champion, if you forgot. But we can rematch the gyms. Talk to my buddy right here. Uh, let's do info, classic. And here's a breakdown of what's going to be happening. In the classic Legends Gauntlet, you'll be pinned against, pitted against, against each trainer, each gym leader, one after another. But despite the fights being back-to-back, -back, you'll get a chance to save and adjust your team in between each fight. As for the gym leaders' teams, they'll be using much stronger Pokemon than when you fought them in their gym. So they'll also be fighting with the, some battle effects as back then, so keep that in mind. If you manage to feed a gym leader and you've already received a Z-Crystal, okay, it's fine. This is just about that. So, basically... Hold on a second. Sorry, champ, but the insane classic leader's gauntlet is still locked. You'll need to clear the expert classic leader's gauntlet first. Okay, so it looks like I have to fight him at the expert level first, and then fight him at the insane level. Okay, so I guess I gotta fight him twice then? Interesting, okay, that's not terrible. I mean, I gotta see if they're using, if they're using legendaries or not. So I wanna see if they're using, if they're not, if they're not using legendaries, I won't use legendaries. So I wanna see what they're using first. Let me go ahead and change the difficulty real quick, and then I'll just hop in and see what it is. Begins mercy, yes, spell battle, time take some time to prepare for the fight. Okay, so so it tells me I mean yeah, I'll continue. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, I'll continue, let's continue. That's fine. Uh, I guess generally the room will be filled with DX Fox, so just like last time. So okay, just so just like last time. So I just wanna see real quick, who does he got? Who does he got? Fog is deep. He's running no legendaries. He's got Roserade, Confei, he probably has a Mega Venusaur. Okay. Okay, not terrible. That's actually not so He's not running legendaries, so I will not run legendaries against him. So, this will be our first battle up. But dang, oh damn. It's going to be a good one, guys. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, it's got one guy left. I mean, he's not terrible, but we have to hit these moves. If we don't hit these moves, we can't even win. This is the only thing. Yes, let's go. Let's go. This should be it. There's no way he kills me. Oh, wait a second. That did a, a bunch of damage. Oh, it doesn't matter though. We get the KO. The one hit KO. Let's go. We defeated Mercy. There's the rematch number one. This is only expert though. We got a bunch of money. A Pokemon we pulled four health. Okay, now it's on leader number two, which I'm pretty sure is Vega, the dark type. Take some time to prepare for a quick fight when you're ready. Step into the direction. I'm pretty sure in this battle it's gonna be um, the same thing where non-dark types take damage, so it doesn't even matter. So this the gym, the aspect of this gym doesn't even matter. So on to Vega. All right, Dookie. So it seems I was misinformed about the gauntlet. Um, as you saw, we just beat Mercy in the expert level gauntlet rematch and so i'm thinking i'm about to take on vega right so i went to go change my pokemon and i couldn't do that it wouldn't allow me to so what that means is i have to use the same six pokemon i use i have to use those sorry i have to use the same six pokemon to battle all the gym rematches when i do it through the gauntlet which is going to be a bit of a dookie bitch because that's that's eight gym leaders and that's 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 more than the elite four like, in the Elite Four didn't have gimmicks that were as hard as the gym leaders, I think. Like, like Alice, for example, Alice is right here. Her using Delta Wink, Delta Stream. That's, that's pretty hard to deal with. Or Mel, like down here, using inverse battles. Or Big Mo up here is using weight is your speed. So it's like, that. those, are, those gimmicks are, are definitely harder than the Elite Four, which had, like, it, for example, in the Fairy one, it boosted their special defense or defense every time they came to the battle. Or in the ghost one, if they were at the ghost Pokemon were at full health, they took half damage. So like those gimmicks are okay. That's like that's not as hard, I feel like, as the gym gimmicks. But what I did realize is that there are four gym leaders roaming around. There's Alice, Mel, we got Vega, and we have Big Mo. And I can rematch them with their insane difficulty teams. So that's probably what we're gonna do. If I do the gauntlet, it'll be in another episode. Like I said, leave a comment. Let me know if you guys want to see me do that. Um, it's just going to take a lot of trial and error to be able to figure out the perfect team to go all the way through every gym leader. 
But other than that, let's go ahead and get these rematches done at the insane difficulty. Starting with Vega, Dookie. Dook, dook, dookie! Alright, Dookies. It is time to take on Vega in the insane difficulty rematch. Here's the team we're bringing. He has three legendaries. He ha I mean, I'm, I think he does, right? Uh, oh, well. We'll figure it out. But I forget how many he has. But this is the team we're bringing. We're not going to fuck around. Um, we're going to get right into this. And we're going to we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the battle that I motherfucking whoop his ass in. That I just clean sweep his ass, you know? That's what we're going to do. Ah, Dookie. I hope life finds you well. No, I'm not here on any assignment. I have my own personal reasons. You've recently become the new champion of the Boreas region, yes? You see, my responsibilities as a gym leader and as an agent require me to often conceal my true strength. But now I see little reason not to indulge myself now that a peace has returned. If you are willing, perhaps you would care to test yourself against me. I'm aware, of course, that you may still hold some grudges for my actions back at Zinner Volcano. If nothing else, think of it as an opportunity to relieve some pent up frustrations. Let's do it, Vega. I'll wait for you in the battle arena. All right, motherfucker, let's do it. Are you ready to begin the battle? In the battle against the gym leader, Vega, negative emotions will be fill the air. If you're not dark type, you will take extra damage after each turn, but that's not a worry for us because we already are dark type. So let's get into it, Dookies. It's time to take on Vega in the rematch. And we are starting things off strong. Okay, we usually here, we hit, we always hit Dark Void. Dark Void is the first play we always do. Now, here's the gimmicky shit. Is that there's times where he, he, he switches out and there's times where he doesn't. So it's just a matter of me seeing he has to switch out here, right? He doesn't. So he doesn't switch out, which means he wakes up. He's still asleep. Okay, so he's still asleep. Bad dreams hurt him. Um, we Dark Pulse again. He switches right there. We still hit the Dark Pulse on the Yvaltal, though. Okay. Against the Yvaltal. So let me see what's going down here. Huh. Ooh, big damage. Big damage, though. Okay, that's not terrible. Um, I probably need to swap because he's definitely, he's probably going to Oblivion Wing. That's definitely what I think he's going to do. Um, and so in that case, we're probably going to swap to Keith. Okay, we're swapping to Keith. And the Toxic. Ooh, he tried to Toxic me. This is even better. Okay. So now I think we go for the um, Ice Punch. He switches. What is he going to? Sableye. Okay, not terrible. Ice Punch ain't going to do much. Poison Touch, though. We do get the Poison Touch on Sableye. Okay. So Sableye, what does he like to do here? He has Will-O-Wisp. I just remembered that. He has Will-O-Wisp. So because of that, we're going to go into Nightmare. Nightmare can eat a Will-O-Wisp, and it's not going to affect him because he is a special attacker. Beautiful. Okay, now we do here is I think we put him to sleep. Okay, I just thought of that. I cannot put him to sleep because he's poisoned. So I might just go for a straight Dark Pulse on him. He swaps to who? Clefable. Okay, that's not terrible. Okay, okay. So, against a Clefable every time we bring out Keith because she's going to utilize a soft-boiled move. Calm Mind. Okay, never mind. We just calm minding out here. Okay, we get a Poison Jab. Thunder Waves me. Okay. Let's see if we get a Para off. Beautiful. We get the Poison Jab off. Okay, okay. Poison touch, that's beautiful. Okay, so now what is this motherfucker gonna do? What is this motherfucker gonna do? That's right, I can't even put anybody to sleep because Bi Sharp's still asleep, so I need to remember that. I cannot put anybody to sleep because there's a sleep clause. Mmm, interesting. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta remember that, Dookies. I have to remember that. Instinct's telling me to go for poison jab because that's what's gonna kill. But there's also an instinct telling me that she might switch into Jirachi, which means Poison's not going to do shit to her. Hmm. I guess we got to find out, huh? He stays in soft, but that's right. Here comes a soft boiled trick. Where now she's going to do this, and we and her are going to go back and forth for a couple turns with the Poison Jab. 
Leftovers. Yep. Because she's, she's trying to bank on me getting paralyzed. That's what she's banking on. Nice. We're now we're getting really lucky. Is this dead? Is she dead? No, she's not dead. The leftovers are going to save her, aren't they? Ooh. Soft boiled again. Yep, see, here we go. It's the, it's the hacks. It's the hacks. Hacks and the gimmicks. Poison jab. Let's go, Keith. Let's go. It might die. She should die, right? It's been a couple turns of poison. Oh, she still ain't dead, bro. Okay. I'm sitting here thinking I'm stupid, but here we go. We got to shadow sneak this. Oh, we're paralyzed. It's okay. It's okay. That still works out for us because she still dies to poison. We eat that. Beautiful. No, nah, don't worry. She's dead to poison. She's dead. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So now that's gone. Now here comes the Sableye, who is poisoned. I mean, he cannot willow me because I am poisoned. So that's actually pretty good. I might just stay in here and battle this motherfucker and go for a uh, go for a knockoff. Hmm. We're still looking pretty decent. We have a good team still left. Let me see what I want to do. I could go Venom. Swap to Venom. Go to Venom, and then Venom can hit the uh, the play rough. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Does a little bit of damage. That's what I need. Does a little bit of damage. Okay. Now, who comes in against the Jirachi? Hmm. I think we bring in Tiny. I think Tiny is the answer to bringing... To bringing Dorachi down. Get the Intimidate off so it doesn't can't do that good attacks. Iron Head. Good, good. Good, good, good. Good, guys. Okay, so now we have our Mega out here. We are going to Mega and we're going to Crunch. That is probably the best player here is Crunching. Let's do it. Withdrew. That's okay. To Dorachi. That's okay. Still big damage coming out because we did Crunch. Still big damage. Let's go, baby. He does have a fucking leftovers though, which is kind of annoying, but I ain't that worried about it. Come on, let's see what we can do. We we break the mold. Let's go. Big damage, big damage. Not even your lefties can save you from that, bro. He willows me. That's not good. Ooh. I think we good though. I think we do it. We kill him. Protect, he protects. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine. Um, in this case, I think I swap here, and we go to Leech. Leech, yep, that's fine. We get the, uh, Dark Pulse off, and he's dead. Because we have a Dark Aura, and we have a Dread Plate. Yep. Let's go, boys, let's go, let's go, let's go. Looking good, looking good. Here comes, here comes there, you'll vault all. Okay. So, that's what we're looking at right now. Sableye is pretty low. Jirachi has a hit on, pretty sure, and Bioshark is sleepy, sleepies. So... We're still looking really good. We're still looking really good. Okay, so let's go ahead and do Oblivion Wing. Oblivion Wing, that's what we have to do. They Toxic. That's actually good. That's actually good. We Oblivion Wing. Huh, I probably could have swapped a Muck right there, but it's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. So he knows that we... I know that does decent damage. Okay, how much does this do? How much does this do to me? If we can... Do decent... Ah, uh, nope. She's going to live that. They're going to live that. Yep, they're gonna live that. Okay, okay, we have to we have, we have to swap out here. We have to swap out here into um, muck. Living wing. We should be able to eat this. We do, and now we hit a sick, sick, sick ice punch on this guy. Living wing again. Come on, muck. I should have swapped you earlier. I know I should have, but as long as you don't get paralyzed, we should be okay. Let's go. Please do big damage, muck. Muck, it's okay though. You did good. Let's go. The poison touch, Muck. You a G, Muck. You a G, boy. You a G. Shadow sneak. Ah, he's withdrawing him. To Jirachi. It's okay. We, we, we get the shadow sneak off. Nice, nice. Good damage. Good damage. Okay, so now. Yvaltol's at one. Um, By Sharp still sleepy, sleepy. We have a Sableye over there, Dukin. We're still looking really. I might just let Keith go down, or do I not do that? I might, I might have to swap here, huh? I probably do swap here. Who do I swap to, though? Maybe, uh, no, because he doesn't like, he doesn't like iron. Hmm. I might just let Keith go down here, honestly. And then I can swap in somebody like Yavalto, and Yavalto can whoop ass. Like, I might do another Shadow Sneak. Get another Shadow Sneak off. 
Good, good, good. And then Iron Head. Okay, we die to that. And we, and we come in here, we do this. And now we hit Dark Pulse. Oh! We avoid that. I forgot that she had play rough. I forgot Jirachi. Had, you're dead. You're dead anyways. There's no way. Let's go. Okay, I was going to say, there's no way. I forgot that motherfucker had that. Oh my goodness. I almost want to just swap here, honestly. Just let him die and just let him die. Like, just let him die, honestly. <laughs> uh, what do you got? Let's just switch to him. He's dead. Oh, he's not dead. That's right. The poison. That's okay. We hit the fake out on him. And he dies to poison. Let's go. We got the gimmicks. We put the fucking gimmicks out this time, boys. We do the gimmicks this time. Let's go. Venom coming in clutch. Let's go, boys. He's got one left, and he's a, he's a sleeping boy. We're going to hit with Drain Punch, and that's the game, motherfuckers. We just whooped Vega's ass, boys. Let's go. Mmm, just like that, motherfuckers. Let's go. That's quite the setback. Let's go. I see that you do not consider being the champion the end of your growth. I truly unleashed all I had. And yet my intel, my strength, it was not enough. Very well. I believe you are deserving of one of my favorite Z crystals. Hey, thanks for the Z crystal, bro. Damn, boys, we did it. That's one down, boys. So now the next one is going to be Alice. Alice is the next one we're taking on, Dookies. Let me get a team ready. And we doing it, Dookies. We doing it. All right, Dookies. We are ready to take on Alice and her flying type shenanigans. Here's the team we're working with. We have Nightmare, Leech, Sunset, and Jacko. Those are our four. I'm pretty sure she brings four legendaries. Otherwise, I would I would not be bringing four. And we have our Mega is Shadow. And then we have Keith. Keith is a lockdown motherfucker. He can come in with some good moves. Got some Shadow Sneaks, Poison Jabs, uh, the Eyes Punches, and the Knockoffs are going to come in very clutch in this battle. But Nightmare, I'm telling you, Nightmare is already... Seeming to be one of my favorite legendaries for the dark playthrough, for at least for the for the run, because the fucking dark void move is insane, bro. This move is insane. Eighty percent accuracy, but it puts him to sleep. Does no damage, but it puts him to sleep, bro. Come on now, and how fast Dark Rai is? Come on now, we're putting some motherfuckers to sleep in this gym. You already know we are. Dookie, quite the chance meeting we've got here. Look at you, you're the new champion of Boreas. You soared to heights not even I dared to reach. And it got me wondering, what sort of winds blew your way to let you reach the apex? Well, I just got me the dandiest idea. I'm looking for another battle. I want to see which winds you rode to glory. Was it truly for fortuitous? Or are your skills good enough to sway chance itself? How about it? Are you game for another battle? Let's do it! Tuk -tuk -tuk Remember, there's going to be Tailwind... And, okay, the Tailwind is the Delta Stream. So it's going to make her Pokemon faster, and it's going to make, so that way, it weakens super effective attacks against flying types. So that is Rock, Ice, and Electric. And we have to work our way around that, and we will find a way to do it, boys. We will find a way to do it. You already know who we're starting with. And also, I want you to look at this real quick. If you look at her Mons, you can tell her starter Mon already has a status condition. If you can guess who it is, oh, I love you. And you're damn right. It's a fucking Poison Heal Gliscor. But don't worry. We got this on lockdown. We got this on lockdown. The scary thing is, is I can't put him to sleep because he has the poison. So what it looks like we're doing here is actually we are swapping out. Okay, and the last one, guys. Uh, if I cut it early, it's because I had to... Um, I had to switch... A move. I had to switch. Give him Ice Beam. I didn't even have Ice Beam. And so we needed to have Ice Beam for this battle. So I needed to do that real quick. And then now we're into this shit. But like I said before, I can't put him to sleep. Because he is sleeping. So I have to Ice Beam. Stealth Rock. Yep. Ice Beam. We can see attack. But he is times four. So it will do some decent damage. Ooh, it does really good damage. But he gets the Poison Heal. So, yep. He gets the Poison Heal. Gets a decent amount of damage back. Beautiful. And, um, um, I am looking to swap here. I do not want to stay in. We did what we needed to do. I think he's going to swap as well. 
I'm predicting him. I mean, he swap in most scenarios. He does swap. He he doesn't stay in because he knows he's gonna die. So I would swap to Shadow because he usually goes Oho on this. So he swaps, goes Oho, perfect, perfect. So now we Mega and we go for the fattest Stone Edge of our lives. Get the Mega off. He goes for the Brave Bird. And then we eat this. Yes, he gets a little bit of chip damage on him. That's probably just enough to kill him with this. Come on, it's mysterious. But same thing, he's four times weak to rock. Boom, baby, the hammer drops. And there it goes. Oho, boys. Dookie. Now he has Thunderous here. I know Thunderous likes to carry grass knot. And this motherfucker for sure has it. So we're not staying in. We are definitely swapping. We're going to swap and go somebody else. Who do we have on our team that can eat a grass knot? Well, the one and only Jacko, you know? Jacko's dragon type, eats, eats grass moves. He has high HP and he's got leftovers. Grass knot. We are heavy, but if we eat that shit. We eat that shit. We get the lefties back. Looking good, looking good. Okay, so against him, I think I'm always looking to go for a crunch. Um, I don't even have crunch actually on him. I have knockoff on him. So, hopefully knockoff will do just as much damage, right? Sludge bombs. Okay, I'm poison. That's okay. I knock off. Ooh, his assault vest is gone. Lefty's poisoned. Do I swap or not? That's the question. We have good damage on him, but I don't know if I want to swap right now. He swaps the Excadrill. He swaps the Excadrill. He breaks the mold as well. We knocked off Excadrill. We knocked off. Critical hit, and there goes his assault vest. Okay, we are looking really good right now. A little bit. I think I have to swap, though. Ooh, that poison's doing a lot. I have to swap. I have to swap. Okay. Um, He's going to go for a steel move. I think so. I think we bring in Leech. We get the benefit of the, of the you know, the, the, the Delta Stream. Earthquake. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So now I think we go for the Dark Pulse. As we are faster and we have the Dread Plate on, he should be dead. Beautiful. Okay. There goes him. Now Rayquaza. Now Rayquaza is a huge problem. That is definitely for sure, because it's not just any old Rayquaza. I'm pretty sure it's Mega Rayquaza. I'm thinking. I'm thinking of switching maybe to Shadow, because he does like to go for a Dragon Assault, which I'm pretty sure is a flying move, Um, which we could be able to eat that. But I might just stay in and see if Leech can eat it and hit, the, hit, hit an Oblivion Wing on him to get extra damage off. Or I could, of course, go for that. But I think going for the Bleeding Wing might be more beneficial. Let's see what he does. Let's see what happens here. Oh, man. Here comes the Mega Ray. The Draco Meter. We avoid it. No way, boys. How much damage is due? How much damage is due? Okay. Good damage. Now I think we can kill with this. 96. Do I think we can kill with this? Draco Meteor. Do we eat this? That's the question of the day. Yo, we eat that all day, every day. Let's go. And his special attack drop does this kill. Does this kill. Let's go, boys. Yo, Yavalto. Leech. Leech in that health up. Mmm, <sighs> yum. Okay, okay. We know what you're doing here. You're going for an earthquake. Earthquake, I'm stupid. He's going for a um, thunderbolt. Um, we bring in Keith all day, every day against a thunderbolt. Yep, Keith's going to eat this up. And we're paralyzed. No, not what I wanted, but do I go for a Shadow Sneak, maybe? Huh, maybe I go for a sick Shadow Sneak. Maybe it kills him. Maybe not, though. Hmm, let's try it. Maybe, maybe. Oh, it's okay. We eat this, right? Let's go, let's go, let's go. We go for the Shadow Sneak. Let's go. It worked out for us anyways, boys. Let's go. Okay, who's he got left? Gliscor? And Lugia, who's sitting fresh. Dude, we are looking real good, boys. We're looking real good. Okay. I think we do the same thing. I think we go for a, uh, a sneaky, sneaky shadow sneak. Because I'm going to die anyways. I'm going to die anyways. Okay, it doesn't really do anything. That's okay. That's okay. He gets the poison heal back. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. We bring out Nightmare every time against this boy. He does not want to see Nightmare in the field. Now, here's the thing. I think he swaps here. If he swaps here... Ice Beam might not help, because then he goes into the Lugia, who is all he has left is Lugia. 
So it might be more beneficial just to hit a dark pulse on him. Honestly, it might be more beneficial just to hit a dark pulse on him. Let's try it. Earthquake. We eat it. We hit the dark pulse on him. Okay. It's okay. This might kill him. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're looking good. We're looking good. Now Logia comes out. The truly talented make their own luck. Okay. So now we're looking. Anyone that comes in against this is going to be really good. So I think we're looking really good, guys. So I think against this, we just do the same thing. We go. Or we could go for a dark void. No. I think we get some damage off. He might just kill me anyways. Oh, I could have dark voided. That's okay. That's okay. This might kill. No, it doesn't kill. Dark voiding may have been the move then, huh? That's okay. Let's even get another one off. Ice beam. Do we eat this? We do. We do. We do. Oh, my goodness. And he almost dies. Okay. We go for... Let's go into sunset here. Ice beam. So it's gonna, we're going to eat this. Nice. Nice. And now we go for the fat fiery wraith. No, it's okay. Do your thing, bro. Do your thing. It's okay. Recover your health, bro. It don't matter, bro. You're going to die anyways. Are you going to stall me out? Are you going to stall me out? Huh? Fine, I'll willow you then. Go ahead. Recover. I'm going to willow your punk ass. I'm going to willow your punk ass. Yeah, look at him now. Though. Now the burn's coming into play. Now the burn's coming into play. Look at him, boys. Look at him panicking. Look at him panicking. Uh, we, we lost one person. I think we've lost... Did Keith die in the last battle, too? He did. Keith died in the last battle, too. Man, he's our guy that just gets sacrificed. I'm so sorry about that. But that looks like it could be it, boys. With this and the burn, this could do it right here. And that is it, boys. We have defeated... Gym number three rematch against Alice. Let's go, boys. Ha. Huh. So that's how it panned out in the end. That was inspiring, truly. I suppose whether it was chance or skill, it hardly matters. I was moved all the same. You can have this. Perhaps the Z-Crystal can give you the next battle on the ear. Ah, well, I don't need, I don't need, I don't need your Z-Crystal. I don't need it. I don't need it. But damn, boys. Do -do next battle might be the toughest. It is going against Mel and his normal types in an inverse battle rematch. Let's get it. All right, Dookies, it's time to take on Mel. Let's fucking do it. Here is the team real quick. We got Ash, Keith, Sandy. Our mega is tiny. We got Nightmare and Killer. He's only bringing two legendaries. But let me tell you, he's bringing the god of all Pokemon. So this battle is not an easy cakewalk. Let me tell ya, boys. Let me tell ya. Well, looky here. If it ain't Dookie, I guess all that ruckus after all, after Thundercat Mountain worked out, right? Since then, there's been something different about your look. Now, you didn't get a handsome as me. No one's more of a looker than old Mel. I mean, you're more relaxed. I remember at the gym, you were wound up tight as a lasso. Actually, now that we're here, how'd you like to rematch with this handsome fella? I want to see how you really battle. No distractions to hold you back. What you say to another rodeo? Let's do it, Mel. That's the spirit. All right, bro. Let's do it, Mel. The inverse battle. All type matchups will be reversed. And he is a normal type trainer. Oh, my God. We got superior. Okay, look at this. Isn't even a normal type Pokemon, but that's why we have Ash in front. Ash is about to fucking whoop some ass with a mega fucking surf, motherfucker. We also have him battle bonded up instead of protein, because we're gonna be utilizing surfs a lot in this battle. And this is the team we're looking at right here. I probably I don't know if I did that against the other ones. I'm sorry if I didn't. Actually, I just thought of that. But here's a team we're looking at. He's got a decent team, but let's get into it and fuck him up, motherfuckers. Yep, he swaps. Yep, instantly swaps. We do surf. Okay, so now we swap as well, and we go to Keith. This is always the plan. Stealth rocks Kia. That's a weird, weird chance he's got there, but now we're going to Shadow Sneak. Hopefully we get some Poison Touch off. No Poison Touch. No Poison So we stay in. We stay in. Boy, we get another, hopefully. Poison Touch? Yes, that's what we need. That's what we need. That's what we need. Okay, now that he's Poison Touch, we are looking good, because he has Recover and Soft Boiled and shit like that. 
So now he's he's a staller. But the stealth rock came up, so it's a little bit of a bitch. Um, actually, not really, because the only person that's really weak to it is Tiny when he comes out when he's not mega. So he'll take some damage when he comes out. But other than that, we're looking pretty good. So now let me see what what I need to do next. And now we hit the knockoff on him. There we go. There we go. There's a knockoff. He's gonna switch to Arceus. Yep, he switched to Arceus because he's too low. He doesn't want to deal with it anymore. Yep, knockoff comes off. This is perfect. Now, and the poison touch comes off. Wait, did I knock off? I was going to say. There there goes his Silk Scarf. So now his extreme speeds are weakened. But damn, that poison touch is super clutch. Super clutch for us. Let me do the Shadow Sneak off. Get a little extra damage on him. Nice, nice. We eat bullets. See, we don't eat that. We're dead. Oh, we, oh, we do hit it. Shadow Sneak. Oh, of course, classic. The extreme speed comes out. Okay, um, let me think here. Who do I not want to die? Might go into killer here. Get the intimidate off and go for an aqua jet. Yep, he didn't click. Oh, he clicks bullets. See, that's why. That's why. Oh, we eat it though. We eat it. Let's go. Let's go. He dies. He dies. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So now we're looking really good. He's. That right there is the biggest player. Kareem's not that bad. He's not that bad. Okay, in most cases, we go to Ash. That's what we're doing. We're going to go to Ash. Okay, we're definitely going to swap. Go to Ash on the on the grass move. We even avoid it. Wow, we hit the surf. Look at how much damage this do. No way. No way. Now we're battle bonded up, boys. Oh my gosh, we are... Okay, I already know I don't eat anything this guy has, but we are battle bonded up. And we have two bonds down. Let's go. That was probably contrary superior. But he didn't even get to hit me, so it doesn't even matter. Um, man. Looking good, boys. Okay. I want to save Ash. So I'm going to bring in Killer. Not Intimidate. Doesn't matter. The uproar. We eat this. We do eat this. So now I want to use Aqua Jet. Doesn't do much damage. But it does a little bit. And then he uproars again. Okay, okay. So that's good. Um, let me think. I think Sandy is probably the best bet here. Let's try Sandy. I think Sandy's going to do it. Sandy is a little, it's a little bit of damage. But I think we go into a leaf blade. And Sandy might be able to get it. An uproar comes out. Can we eat this? Oh, we eat that. Easily. Come on. Big damage. Big damage. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. So I gotta think here, I gotta think here. What do I do? What do I do? Because he's got a couple mons left over. I only have a couple mons left over. So this is where it gets really scary because this mon's really fast. Um I might have to leap late again, knowing he dies. And then go into what's tiny. Oh we barely took any damage. Okay, okay. So then we go into Mega. And then I think we have to go into a waterfall. Breaks the mold. We break the mold. We should eat this. We should eat this. Okay, he's dead. Nice. Okay, Turbo Blaze. This is not good. Because he's going to hit me with an Ice Beam. And Ice Beam's going to whoop my ass. Okay. Um, This is looking a little bad. But it's doable. It's doable. We hit the Waterfall. He Ice Beams. I don't think we eat this. Ah, okay, okay. Um, let's try Ash. Ash might be able to do this. He might be able to do this. How much does that do? 120? 95? Ooh, that is nice, though, but I am... Now nah, we do this. We are faster? Oh my goodness, does this kill him? Let's go! Let's go, boys! Let's go, boys! We surf again. We surf all day. Oh, it does nothing to him. He toxics me. Okay, 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 okay. We're going to swap here. We're going to go to Nightmare, actually. We're not dealing with that. Yeah, you go for Soft Boy. We go for Dark Void. Okay, this is perfect. Okay, here's the deal here. Here's the deal. Here's what I have learned from battles with Mel. Okay, he has two Pokemon left. We have two Pokemon left. Uh, Beedrill is definitely faster than Ash, and he can probably kill him in one hit. So Nightmare is very important here. But now that Chansey's asleep, I don't doubt for one second Chansey is going to swap. Because Chansey has a ability 
or it has an item, it has something to where once it goes back, it's almost like regenerator. Instead of instead of giving it more health, it takes off its status condition. So he's gonna swap here, I feel like. I think he's gonna swap and I think I hit a, a bold dark void on the swap. We live it. We have to put him in. We put him to sleep right here. Because I, I think if we don't put him to sleep, I think we get screwed. So putting him to sleep right here helps us out a lot. So put him to sleep. That helps us out a lot. And then I don't know what to do from here. Because, oh man, it gets tricky. This battle just gets tricky, dude. Because he literally has two dudes left, and so do we. But Beedrill's so strong that he's so quick, too, that he just kills both my guys in one hit. And now Nightmare's almost dead. But Ash might be able... That's the thing is I can't. I don't know if Nightmare can take a hit like that. Oof, that's, that's scary. That's scary. Um, I don't know. I don't know because he's probably gonna let. The best case scenario for him is him swapping. The best case scenario for me is him staying in. What does he do here? Because if he swaps, that means that means he cannot be put to sleep. He hexes. Okay. That's probably the best case scenario, honestly, right there. The best case scenario, he stayed in, I hexed him. And now we can put him to sleep. Yes, that's the best case scenario right there, was this. Okay, so now we dark pulls, we hex, dark tray, sorry. We do hex, which does extra damage because he's asleep. And that right there is a fat dub, boys. We did it, we figured it out. Yes, we did it, we did it. I was a little stumped there for a little bit right there. Oh man, but we did it. We did it. Let's go. Let's go. Do keys. Let's go. Gosh, I got the looks, but you're clear. Yeah, they got the talent. Damn, let's go, boys. So, that's the new champion of Boreas, huh? Well, ain't that really something? That's a way, that's a way different battle you showed me. It felt more natural. Focus. No wasted movements at all. All right. Someone who can battle like that just has to have the Z crystal. Thank you for the Z crystal, man. Thank you for the Z crystal. All right, Dookie, so now we are in store for the last one, which is Big Mo, the fighting type, who doesn't really use fighting types because his gimmick is that your weight is the speed. And, man, this motherfucker bringing the heavyweights. I can't wait. Dookie, 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 dookie. All right, Dookies, we are heading into the last gym, rat, gym rematch we can do. It's going to be against Big Mo, the fighting type. And his gimmick is going to be your weight is your speed. And here is the mons we bring in. We got Ash. We got Tiny's our Mega. We got Pain. Because Pain and Jacko are pretty high up there in the weight scale. So they're going to be our heaviest mons. And we have Sandy. And we got Nightmare. Because you already know Nightmare is a problem. Don't be falling asleep when Nightmare's around. Because he's going to tear you up. But all right, Dookies. Let's get into this last rematch and tear shit up. Dook, dook, dookie. Ah, 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 look who decided to show up. If it isn't our latest champion, Dookie. Ha, ah, if you're sure, then I guess you've staked a claim on this turf already, huh? Last time I lost, I knew I had to get out and, let's say, assert myself elsewhere, you get me? But I get I gotta keep looking for Big Mo's new base, huh? Unless you want to keep talking, taking on the kingpin right here, right now. For real this time. This joint belongs to whoever wins. I warn you, I'm not the same as before. Well... What's it, what's it gonna be, Squirt? Are you quaking in your boots already? Let's go, boy. All right, then. His gimmick, once again, is that your weight is your speed. So we are not gonna be faster except for one instance. And that will happen in the battle. And that's when Hoopa is faster than one of his mons. So, yep, yeah, let's do it. Let's show him off who he's got. He starts off with Mudsdale. I'm pretty sure that's where we start with the gym battle. Heavier Pokemon have the advantage, but this is his team. This is his team. He has one regular Pokemon, one Mega, and four Legendaries. Oh man, guys. Like, everybody besides Kyogre is super quick. Kyogre can be outsped by Hoopa Unbound. So that's why I'm bringing Hoopa. Hoopa can learn Thunderbolt. So we're about to fuck things up. Yep, we are ready to begin. Where weight is your speed. Okay, okay, okay. We got Battle Bonded up here. Let's see if this kills. Yeah? Okay, doesn't kill. I mean, because he swaps out a primal garage. Oh, cryogre, goddamn. Okay. Oh, we get the crit. Nice. 
Okay, okay, okay. So we didn't get the kill, though. We didn't get the kill, which is okay, I guess. That's okay. Um, Winky swap here every day to evade the pain. He goes for the thunder. Okay, we eat that. We ourselves go for dark pulse, because he stays in. Nice, he stays in. And now Groudon comes out. And Groudon is a pain in the ass, boys. He is a pain in the ass. Like, that's all I can say is... This Groudon is not fun to deal with. He takes one of my guys out, and I don't know who, who I want it to be. I mean, Pain did his job with taking out Kyogre, so it might have to be him. Fire Punch, it's too strong. It's literally too strong. Um, I say we go for Nightmare. We can go for a uh, Dark Void. We eat this. Oh my goodness, we do eat that with eight left. Okay, so now he's put to sleep, which is actually not terrible. Ooh, if I had, if I had, uh, what is it? The move, I forget what it is. I think it's Dream Eater, dude, where he gets a bunch. I can get health back from that. Oh well. Um, I think I have to swap out here though, or maybe not. I think I stay in maybe Dark Pulse. Yeah, okay. Dang, we Dark Pulse. Okay, not terrible. We go for uh, Cheeky Shit, because he likes to go for Cheeky Shit. Okay. Huh. Now here's where things get a little tricky. Because I could go for Knock Off and knock his leftovers off. Okay, okay. That actually did decent damage. That did decent damage, but fuck. Uh... That does more damage, but I get my health back from this. So this is Drain Punch is looking a little more promising. Just because I get a little bit of health back. And the leftovers. Does he swap here? Does he swap here? He probably does. He probably does. He's probably sick of my games. He does. Okay, so I read that. And now I think we go for the Grass Knot. He body presses. Okay, he could have done this first turn. He could have done that first turn. Do we kill him here? Do we kill him here? We do. Let's go. Rocky Helmet comes out, but it's okay. We are battle bonded up. Which is good and not good. Uh, because it does help us out. Because we are faster, but it doesn't really matter. We are, our stats are good, but it, like if I can't utilize it... The only person I can really utilize it against would be the Groudon, because he's still sleeping. So, that is actually decent. We have two Mons down, and we are looking decent. We have three Mons, two Mons full. <sighs> I don't know, guys. It's getting dookier and dookier in here. So, in this case, I think we swap to... To you. The air slashes. Okay, that's good. Now I think he's going to go for Leech Seed. We go for the Drain Punch. He misses the Leech Seed. No way. Get a little bit extra health on me. And that comes off. And now we go for some knockoffs. Leech Seed. It's okay. Oh, he's almost dead. Damn it. He, he, he's going to live this next hit. He's going to live this next hit. Damn it. Okay. 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 Try knockoff. Substitute. Substitute faded. We get a little bit of HP back. Oh my goodness, this man's playing all the dirty tricks on me. Don't get flinched. Oh! We get a little bit of back. Oh, come on, man. Eat this! Eat this! Oh! You go tiny. You go Tiny. And Tiny comes in and hits the biggest crunch of his life. Oh, and he goes to Metagross on the switch in. No way. We break the mold. No way. You got to be kidding me right now. There's no way that just happened. There's no way he just let me get that much damage off on that guy. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Okay, he goes for the Thunder Punch. And I think every time we go for this... Every time we do that, every time. Every time for the Thunder Punch, we swap. Every time we get in this scenario, we swap into Sandy, because Sandy can eat the Thunder Punch. And now is where things get tricky. You would think things look easy, but things are very much not easy right now. So, 
I could U-turn him, which then I have no health left, and I could swap into Gyarados, who can maybe potential do some big damage against some of these motherfuckers. Um, but that's like it. That's like it. I Ice Punch is going to do a big, 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 big chunk to me. Because I could go to him, but then he Ice Punches, and then he's just going to Thunder Punch, and then it's just a back and forth battle. Hmm. If I might try U-turning here. We eat it. U-turn kills him. And now we swap. We go. have to go. We have to go tiny. Okay, Guzzlord comes out. That's perfect. We go for the avalanche. Corn force. We need like a fat crit. Is what we need. We need like the, we need like the fattest crit we've ever seen in our life. We don't get it. Okay. So this is where things get terrible because now we're just dead. Now we're just dead because we're not fast enough. We can't do anything. Yeah, we're not fast enough. He dies. Yes, he dies. But. We can't kill, we cannot kill the Celesteela. It's impossible. Unless we eat this. Oh my gosh, there's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. No. You have to be fucking shitting me, guys. Guys, you guys are fucking do dookies. 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 You have to be shitting me. I thought all hope was lost. I thought all hope was lost. No way. I'm saying no way. Look at this. Dookies. Look at this. I don't know how we survive. I, dude, I, dude. Oh, I am, I am beyond stunned that we just survived that hit. I was fast forwarding, not thinking we we're gonna survive, because nine times out of ten we die right there. And if, and if Tiny dies right there, Sandy can't. Sand, none of these guys can do anything because they're all too low health and they can't move faster than them because of the weight. And now we have the perfect opportunity to do something because he's sleeping. So now we hit earthquakes. And we have to get lucky enough to where he does not wake up. Oh my gosh, he didn't wake up. No way, we just cheeseballed that. We just cheeseballed him into a fucking Groudon that I knew would come down to Groudon because my guys were low health and they would be faster than him in the sense of he being sleeping so he wouldn't be able to attack me and I'd be able to get the attack off. Holy shit. Dookies, we just did it, Dookies. We just beat... Pokemon fucking unbound, dude, with the gym rematches. Not fucking the full gauntlet, but we beat the four sitting here. Oh, man. Even the even the Kingpin can't do a thing against the champion, huh? But don't think that's going to keep Mo, Big Mo down forever. I just need to see more of whatever the world outside Antasis has to offer. Here, use this Z-Crystal. Thanks, man. Oh, dookies, we did it. We beat all four... Of these motherfucking gym rematches. Big Mo was easily the hardest. Easily because his team was insane. The primal Kyogre. The primal Groudon. Like the speed in that battle was a big factor. The weight was a big factor. Oh my goodness. Can we, we did it though guys. We finally did it boys. But oh man. I'm closing thoughts because this, is, this might be it guys. Unless I unless I try to come back and try to do a an expert run with a um the gauntlet i don't think i can do ex insane if i beat expert i don't think i can do insane because first and foremost i'm thinking of gym eight gym eight is a devolving gym so and it didn't have any legendaries so that means in the insane mode in the gauntlet it's probably not going to have legendaries but every other gym will have legendaries so i need to bring legendaries or i'm going to lose so it kind of a, is kind of as a dookie. It's kind of like a double bladed knife, double bladed sword, you know, because I can't. I need legendaries to to advance that far, but in gym eight, they're going to be useless because, yes, they're going to do big damage, but they only have one life. They can't devolve like other Pokemon can, and so that's the hard part. So I don't know if I'm any more about that. Those are just closing thoughts, real quick, on doing that. I don't know. I might try the expert. It sounds like it may be fun. No legendary. Sounds like it could be doable. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the Unbound series. Um, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the Dookie Boys, man. We finally did it. We beat everything there is to Unbound. Most of everything, of course, the gauntlet. But I ain't worried about that right now, guys. We did everything I wanted to do. Oh, man. self coming come encounters. Or what I'm also thinking of doing is doing a Radical Red randomizer. Where everything's randomized. The abilities, the move sets, and the, uh, the encounters. So it does sound like fun. But that's going to be the next playthrough going forward, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the series. There might be one more episode of this if I can beat the gauntlet. If not, 
Um, I mean, if I do, it might just be a special drop down, like a special episode. I just drop down randomly because it might be, it might take me a little bit to actually take the time to do that. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed the series. I'm out of here, guys. I'll see you next time. Dookie boy.